Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and that is right, we are getting and have gotten Tenogen round 2 and some sweet, sweet skins in the game. Quickly, hey, let me just show you, right? Look at, look at all of this! We got a bunch of Radiant Lunar Renewal loot. Oh my. Oh my, and the Feasting Hamster Glyph for one credit. If you do not have that, I think, uh, let's see, this one as well. You know, Lunar Renewal Polygraphy Poster, right? Let's just uh, just get 88 of those. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. I mean, we can get more, right? Why, why am I doing this? There we go, 8,001. Perfect, perfect. That way I'll never run out of them. You know what, why not just like turn it to 900... I hate this game sometimes. Why did I do that? I actually need credits. God damn it. Uh, okay, anyways, so now we have 1,008,081 Lunar Renewal Calligraphy Posters. What have I done to myself? So that is cool, but more importantly, that's right, Tenogen Round 2. We have our Protea. Oh, what's what's that? Let me just... Let me just buy something here quickly. And just like that, now we have the skin. Give me give me one sec. I think it just applies to my account now, because it says I own it. And we'll see what the skin is, and then we'll look at the other stuff that's coming out, okay? We're just doing this first, without a doubt. Protea has a lot of very cool skins. Hey, Look at that. It, uh, it doesn't look, like, insanely different from the side, of course. Oh, but all the all the helmets are really cool. I love all of them, to be honest. The, uh, Telema helmet fits really well. The, uh, Technocron skin looks really nice, though. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, it, it looks really nice. I like it. So now this is new Protea. Protea 2 Electric Boogaloo. I will do more fashion framing in another video, but hey, now we have another Protea. We have our Transformer Protea. I'm so proud, okay? She, she's finally here. So let's take a look quickly at the hotfix and at round 21 part 2. Okay, the hotfix is very minimal, but let's go over it. Guide to round 21. Well, yeah, that's what they were doing. The guide to the latest Deno creations. Look at these sweet skins. Oh my god, they're beautiful. I love them, okay? I actually, I do like pretty much all of them. Even the part one ones. Even though there's just a ton of wisp skins. They're still beautiful, of course, right? So, nice, nice. That's what they're showing off here. Skin, skin, skin. Skin, skin, skin. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, it looks like they just moved everything around, right? We got new Warframes, right? There's a forum for a full list. There it goes, finally. Oh god. So bad at clicking things. Banji Prime Part 2. Okay, okay. Yeah, it looks like those are all of the links that we need here. So yeah, it just quickly is going over the Lunar Renewal stuff. All of these ones, if you want them. Right? They are really pretty. Especially all these skins here, right? Lunar Renewal. Ignis skin! And then the Grendel skin is hype as well. Let's be real here. <laughs> Look at that! The Kubro! Oh my god. That's awesome. No, that's without a doubt an awesome Kubro armor, the Moondance Kubro armor. Yeah, if you play Kubro a lot, get that if you like it. I think it's beautiful. But yeah, that's a, that's a big big stuff there, right? Pretty beautiful, pretty beautiful overall. Here's the Echoes of War, Banshee Mirime Prime Hotfix, right? We got Mirage, Banshee, Banshee, there we go. All of the accessory packs. Nyx Prime Relics are still available through Corpus Railjax missions, right? So the only... Uh, Prime we really lost was Rhino Prime, but we gained a Mirage and Banshee Prime, so good things there overall. But yeah, look at the cool ass skins. I got my new skin there. I'll probably now have a new fashion frame video for my Protea coming up soon because I need to, right? I need to swap out the Protovire armor for a bit. So overall, we got Mesa, Meg, or Mesa Nif skin, Protea, Wisp, Wisp, and Wukong. These are the ones I mainly care about, of course, of course. Oh, they're beautiful, of course. <laughs> we already see all of those skins. Ah, oh, I love it so much. 
That's why I need to um, fashion frame mine more to bring out the actual like skin more. I think I'm covering it up too much and I don't really like it. But like god, these goofy color patterns. Some of them are sweet, some of them are goofy. I love them. I love them all. So, excited about that. The wisp skin is just dope as hell. I love it. But, I only throw money at Protea. Thank you very much. This is also a really cool wisp skin. This one's more demonic. No shock there. Sentient demon go brr. I love it. Ah, the skins are so cool. If I was just a rich, like, millionaire, if I was the Elon Musk or some other fuck-off billionaire, I would just buy all the skins in every game. I'd just be paid a skin every game. I'd love it. Okay, this uh, this is actually, like, sick Wukong uh, showcase just because of its, like, graphics. It makes it look really nice. Wukong skin's really nice, okay. Let's go to the heavy blade and hammer skin because those look really cool. Oh, it's so beautiful! Look at it. I think it's pretty nice. Reminds me of, like, uh, Xenoblade. The Chronicles, you know? One of those, like, energy blades. Just kind of reminds me of that. Probably because of the uh, middle part there. Anyways. Oh, and then this skin. This one, uh... This one just looks like a Kuva one. No offense, but it's not my style. Where Where is it? Like... Hmm. Yeah, this one looks less cool to me, but to be fair, I don't care about ha hammers, so I mean, yeah, this wouldn't really at all pique my interest, so that's mainly why. Heavy blades are my shit, so makes sense. Makes sense. And that's all there. Inflatable shoulder armor. God. God damn it. Oh, okay, just like little grenier floaties. Cool. Yeah, I wouldn't get those either. Right, there's a lot of skins that just don't appeal to me, and a lot of cosmetics that I just would not care about, because I wouldn't run them, right? And they look like just a regular skin or weapon to me, but yeah. Then we have just all the Lunar Renewal stuff. Added Seal Path Weekly Leaderboards. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, Warframe has leaderboards. I'll show you quickly. Okay, so as you go here, pause menu. Where do you go from there? Because it tells you. You go to your profile, where is it? Leaderboards. There are leaderboards for everything. Let's say Weekly Survival. I'm trying to look for popular ones. Void, Mon, Steel Path, Personal, no ranking. Okay, oh no, that's because that's my personal. I'm an idiot, sorry. Top players, there we go. And then we see top players for like how long they've been here. So if you want to be a top player, yeah, you have to run Void, Mont for 5 to 10 hours and honestly go a little insane. If you run it solo, you can pause, so it makes it easier, right? So, I mean, yeah. Then there's clan ones, shadow, storm, da uh, da. Yeah, so, fun fact, Warframe has so many leaderboards. Too many, honestly. But they don't really matter too much. Here and there, I've gotten leaderboards just pop up. Usually, uh, I've gotten on the leaderboards running K-Drive, because those are really easy. And I need to just level up my K-Drive. I don't usually do, like, very long runs in any sort of game mode, so I'd never hit those sort of leaderboards, but hey, maybe I'll start doing like long, hour-long survivals on like random fuck-off uh, planets, just looking for leaderboards. Anyways, I think that was everything there, but let me take a look. Changes, do 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 additions, okay. Hildren Chassis, now Hildren Chassis, uh, lower, or properly spelt. Turn down volumes, void storms, infested, definitely have, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Um. Yeah, okay, so just like fixes, bug changes, new war fixes, things like that, so. Fixes damage bonus percent provided by condition overload not being numerically consistent across melee weapons. Oh, please, for the love of God, actually work, though. They've, uh, they've, they keep breaking and then fixing things a little bit, so hopefully it works again fully, and they didn't, like, break something else in the process, but... I'll, uh, I'll wait until I see a Reddit thread or something on Twitter, something pops across any one of my social media feeds on that one, but that's a big one. Uh, isolation vaults, underground get generate incorrectly, causing players to be unable to progress. Okay, so yeah, good fix stuff. All in all, good update. Yeah, I just wanted to get that video out there to get all of that cool info out, and because I now have a Protea with a cool new skin. So of course, we're going to be fashion framing this soon enough, maybe on stream probably, or... Maybe not off stream. So yeah, thank you all for watching. If you're making it here to the end of the video, I do appreciate it. I'm just going hard on Lost Ark, but I did at least 
record some videos for the next uh, half a week or so. So, hey, Warframe video is still there. I'm probably going to be streaming and just playing Lost Ark for a little bit now because I uh, prepped a lot of Warframe videos and expect a lot of Lost Ark videos. And to the annoying, like, cash for gold type websites that keep emailing me in regards to Lost Ark sponsorships, please fuck off. I hate all of you. Um, if you're an actual company that wants to sponsor me, you can email me. But if you're one of those websites, leave me alone. Thank you, and I will see you next time. Peace.